Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Oh, well, just in, the, uh, the National Hurricane Center has made a significant change to the uh, tropical storm warning. It has been discontinued with the exception of Cape Cod, the islands, and Block Island. It's still in effect for Rhode Island Sound, the offshore waters, uh, the Vineyard, Nantucket, the Elizabeth Islands. It does include uh, Buzzards Bay. And it does include the Cape and the Islands, but no longer including any land masses in uh, Rhode Island. And again, to stress that we're still going to get some fringe effects, still some gusty wind, some rain. But anything of tropical storm force, the better chance now is shifted south and east in the areas shaded in yellow. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar continues to show uh, periodic uh, tropical moisture, scattered showers, at times some downpours. This is the, the moisture, the leading edge of tropical of rather Hurricane Jose. You can see the, the core of the rain offshore. So we're going to keep this in the forecast off and on this evening, tonight, and even off and on throughout the day tomorrow, periods of showers. Uh, the surf, let me step out of the way. I mean, nothing has changed. If, if anything, the, the waves are only going to get bigger here uh, next uh, 24 hours. So the tide's coming in at around 8 o'clock this evening. There may be some minor minor coastal flooding at the time of the high tide cycle around 8 p.m. this evening. Uh, that would be about it, uh, but certainly big waves, big surf, rip current risk uh, for the next couple of days. Showers coming in off the ocean. Satellite photo shows that is uh, Hurricane Jose. It actually looks better structure-wise on the satellite. It has more of a circular appearance to it, though the winds are still at 75 miles per hour. And with the storm moving over cooler water, it'll start its gradual weakening process. But it's still going to throw back some off and on showers. Any gusty wind here, even though the tropical storm warning uh, has been discontinued, it's not out of the question, at least the South Shore areas, to get gusts in that 40 uh, mile an hour range. Latest from the Hurricane Center. I mean, this is the envelope of tropical storm force winds. It's large. Now, while most of this stays out over the water, this little yellow area does kind of graze the coastline and just offshore. And that's why the tropical storm warnings have been readjusted. Winds of 75. And now we're starting to see more of an east component to the dune north movement. So that's the first tip off that eventually the northeast turn is going to take place. Bend it out to sea well south and east of Nantucket. Again, this is not a direct hit. This is not going to make landfall. It is going to stay out over the ocean and give us the fringe effects. The latest uh, forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Really all along this has been pretty much the forecast at least the last couple of days that bend to the right and out to sea. What it does is rather than race out to sea, it kind of loops and stalls offshore. This will act like a like a blender in the ocean. It's going to still throw back waves, probably for a better part of the work week. Hurricane Maria, another Category 5 catastrophic hurricane taking aim on Puerto Rico. Just uh, an incredibly sad hurricane season and, and very unusual to get magnitudes like this, you know, week after week. And here's another one. Uh, the forecast track takes it uh, north and west and maybe near the Bahamas and off the southeast coast of the U.S., by Sunday, so yet another storm to watch. Many days away, if at all, from the U.S. mainland, uh, but this is certainly uh, a watcher for the East Coast by, well, at least uh, early part of next week. Uh, in the meantime, we are looking at uh, off and on rain, some gusty wind tonight through tomorrow. The surf, the waves remain very large. The worst of the weather next couple of days is clearly the outer Cape and especially out towards Nantucket. A little better on Thursday, mostly cloudy. Friday, not bad. Weekend still looks nice and still holding on to summer. I mean, 82 on Sunday with a mix of clouds and sunshine. So while the warning has been dropped, you know, blustery, gusty conditions and rain will continue. And again, we're thinking winds of up to 40 miles per hour along the, our south shore. Thanks, Tony. New at 530. More coverage.